your shoes off we at the door. We just wanna welcome you. Yeah, welcome to the we night show. We just wanna welcome you. Come and watch while I love glow. We just glow. wanna welcome you. This is the Love of King and Shy Show. show. Say on dog. What's poppin' you guys? What's going on? No, she's over there. We are over here at work. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I was at the studio the other day and I got some feedback on, you know, how I should, you know, some key studio points, you feel me? And I got this idea because you know, my studio is all the way in Duluth and I still have my own home studio. But, you know, it needs to get better. I need to do something with this, bro. But it needs to get better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to I need to improve it. So, I have these specs right here. You know what I'm saying? I got these specs. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take y'all with me as we build our booth. You know what I'm saying? Because I need a booth. So, I need, it says... Over here are the specs. I need four acoustic blankets, four one-inch T-joints, eight one-inch U-joints, 24 shower curtain rings. <coughs> <coughs> Not a cough, I don't need a cough. One junior hacksaw or a PVC pipe cutter, four-inch clamps optional, with several one-inch PVC pipes. You know what I'm saying? So it says, most PVC pipes come in 10 foot long segments. So you'll need, what is it saying? You'll need roughly seven of these. Though the number of pipes you need may change based on dimensions you want. You know, so I'm trying to build something small. I'm not trying to build something big. So what we finna do, I'm gonna take y'all to Home Depot. You know, we gonna get these PVC pipes. I'm gonna order these Houston blankets. You know, we gonna see how this should turn out. I know I am tired of the natural reverb in my music. That's why I haven't put nothing out. Cause I want my shit to sound nice. The more put together it looks when you present it, the well, the more the crowd receives this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta get this shit going. I gotta get this shit right, nigga. So stay tuned. We pulling into the Home Depot to get the pipes for the studio. You feel me? And everything else we need, right, baby? I feel like I have some like grease on my screen or on my camera. So, yeah, we are in it today. Look at the nursery. I want a plant. I think I want to be a plant, Mom. No. Since the water doesn't want to make me any other type of wine. Okay, we're out of here. <laughs> So, we got our tennis pipes. Mm -hmm. We have our tees. You know what I'm saying? We have our knees. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't find the clamps that they got in the video, but these are pretty cool. So, hopefully, these clamps work. You know what I'm saying? We also have our shower curtain thing for when the blanket has came. I have ordered the blankets, so blankets are on their way. So, everything should be cool. Oh. I found one of these instead of a, a saw, like he suggested. Hopefully that makes it easier to cut. Snip, snip. So, let's go pay for everything so I can let y'all know how much this bad boy costs in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. Hours later, you know what I'm saying? We had to go and take two Home Depot runs because I got the wrong size on this, these little circle things. So, mine, I'm using one and one fourth uh, PVC pipes. So, for your, uh, your little connectors, you need one and one fourth. And mine does one and one fourth one, and it was smaller. So, I had to go back and turn all those in to get the ones that actually fit, you know what I'm saying? So we have to make another Home Depot run because we need one more PVC pipe. Uh, let's see here. So this is for the top. Let's to get placed right there on that mug. And then 
you know, we had to take one inch and we had to cut. This is usually like 10 feet. Mm -hmm. So after we cut our seven foot, you know, frame, we had some left over. So they usually have pieces for corners where there's a hole coming up right here. So it'd be a hole, hole in the area for a hole right here for you to put something there for a corner. But you know, that's not, this is an ideal for bigger PVCs. You'll go to Home Depot and notice that there's a piece like that for smaller PVC pipes, but not big ones. So what we had to do is we had to create our own little thing. So if you show down here, this is how it will connect. So you have to take a one inch one, which is this right here and put it right here so that it can connect. Well, three inch, yeah. You can connect your corner and your corner. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense once you uh, get that piece. Cause all last night I was ringing my head and uh, Shy was ringing her head trying to figure out how to connect. You see how I just slid that John in there. And of course, since one is, you gotta turn it like this, you know what I'm saying? So now that we got that under control, everything is good. I think I'm missing one, right, babe? We gotta go back and buy another, mm -hmm. another one for of these. Or another, what are those called? Do you know the These are the uh, elbows. The elbows? Yeah, so you need a T, PVC pipe T, and a PVC elbow. You need eight of each for mine. If you're doing a longer one, he had like 14 elbows and like eight T's, you know, but you know, I need something just to go in that corner right there. So mine is a, uh, the specs are seven feet, you know, cause I got a brother named Peso. I think I like six, five, you know, three for the width and four inches for the length. You know what I'm saying? That's what I created for mine. I'm very proud because, you know, I didn't have a carpentry class in school. I didn't build much, you know, books and no uh, books. No I didn't books. build much bookshelves, you know, and I don't, I'm not a jail nigga, so mm -hmm. I don't have carpentry as a skill. So it's really I just common sense and math. Myself. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but I know a lot of people that won't even get their hands out to do this shit. They don't even know where to start at home people. Yeah, but once so. again, it's like taking your time exactly but right. uh i think are you gonna put the uh directions or the measurements of all this in the description below what do you mean for them like how i did it like how many pipes you need and like the t's and all that the number and the no, description i'll put the where i found it okay <laughs> i'll give y'all <laughs> you know the website that's up to y'all you know what i'm saying but this was me and my project so mm -hmm. I want to just take y'all along with me. But if y'all want to do this for yourselves, y'all got to go and dig like I did. You know, there's a link that I put in the description. <laughs> Period. You know what I'm saying? You got to, because I, I personally can't. I have to come and measure your house. Mm -hmm. So you have to measure your area and then determine how much, you know, PVC pipes. Like he had, he he has it on in the link. It says like 10 to 8. Mm -hmm. But like we said, I don't think we need 14 mm -hmm. because we're not making that big. So that's mm -hmm. all for you. You know, okay. so that's like if you got common sense to rethink, like, okay, that's too much, it's too little, you know. So, but I feel like you can build a damn whole uh, room, yeah, recording room with He's PVC definitely pipes. building my closet in the future if <laughs> it's too small. So, like, this is lit. So, mm -hmm. uh, my, my, uh, how do you say, my covers coming in. Tuesday. Now that I see how actually big it is, I'm nervous if one was enough. No. No, I got two, but I'm saying oh. one to wrap around. Yeah. Since it's 10 feet. Yeah, it should be. If it's 10 feet, this is only seven, so it's going to drape over. Yeah. You know? And if anything, the top doesn't have to be like down to the ground, because that's why you have the, um, the one that wraps around. Exactly. So, you do need, um, once I like Get the curtain, I'll show y'all like the breakdown and everything because you need some shower rings because the uh, curtain does have the, the hoops in there for you to put these on. But you know, these shower rings slide right on to the PVC pipe, you know, so that they can fit. So I don't go, I don't suggest going above one and one fourth PVC size because when it got down to the shower hoops, we were like, damn, which is this actually gonna fit? 
you know, you know, so this is the one that it makes it very snug. Uh, so we got 24, yeah. you know, cause we needed 24. We got some, uh, these clamps to clamp on for the, for the roof, the woof of the thing <laughs> to make it, uh, stick together. The blanket. Yeah, the blanket. Cause we didn't, uh, they didn't have bigger clamps. So luckily, you know, these are more customizable for future projects. Y'all will see when it is, the frame is put together and then we will come back and circle back when I have the blankets and I will put the blankets on and y'all see how cool it looks. And then if anything, y'all will get a quick like yelling rapping session to see how it sounds on the inside. And I'll do a little before and after how my room sounds and how the audio sounds. So, so this is the studio, you know what I'm saying? This is how it'll be. Either I'll put the mic right there we're in the front, I don't know where it'd be in the corner, but after three Home Depot rooms, we are finished. We have our, you know, our little fort. Now I like this, you know what I'm saying? I was worried that it was gonna make sense when I got to it, but it made sense. Teamwork makes the dream work. We did it. You know, teamwork makes the dream work other than the Lakers, because they got out the first round. But, <laughs> but yes. We did it. Tuesday, my blankets come, my acoustic sound blankets, you feel me? Then we put those together, we get the shower curtain busted, and I'll show y'all how to set that up. But as of right now, this is how it looks. And I believe it'll go around. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to take the uh, those parts off again at the top to put the shower curtains on unless they hook around it. Oh yeah. Do they hook around it? No, we're gonna have to take them off to set it up. Yeah, but well, that's okay. Okay, yeah. that's simple. Yeah, so well, everything else is nice. Mm-hmm. Tana came out very good, very nice. All right, so. A little stressful, but it's okay. All right, we have four pieces left over. <laughs> right. So four who pieces, needs some pipes? Pieces, for real. Don't come to my house, you're gonna get beat up with a pipe again. For real. But other than that, fellas and ladies, it is done. I just gotta move it over there. Mm -hmm. Get it out of our way. It's time to be. We did it. Look at it. It's beautiful. The, the blankets came early. It is Sunday. So I need to get our video out on time and everything. Wow. It's beautiful. Come look inside. Come look inside. Come look inside. Ooh. That's talent right there. That is talent and dedication. Mm. So, of course, I got more upgrading to do because I thought I was only gonna need two blankets. Probably need probably three more. One for the top and one to fill the sides. But that's for a later time. I think right now this is good. This is perfect. I like it. What do you think, babe? I like it. And Thumbs I got this touch. For the roof Shout out to Nana. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I'm feeling lost, I just look up. I got Nana's blessings in the booth. The blessings is in the booth now. I'm saying this is beautiful. So we gonna record a song and see what this sound like. You know what I'm saying Cheyenne, off rip. What would you grade it? Give it. I'm gonna give it like a B plus. Yeah, it fell on my head enough times. Yes. And Cheyenne almost died 30 times. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love her so much. Give me kisses. Mm -hmm. ah, Cause you helped me of build this, and it was much needed. And this is called compensation. You feel me? Because we had to figure out how we we're gonna get the studio to sound the best as possible mm -hmm. and look the best as possible Compromise. in a small space. Mm -hmm. But we got something. I think we got something. So I'm gonna get to recording. I may add a little bit of the song in the video, depending on how the song comes out. But, uh, <laughs> so I got my receipts for y'all to let y'all know how much this project costs for me and my little kebab, my little shish kabooey, you feel me? So, <clears throat> first day, I had spent $130 on these blankets, you feel me? It was 50 for each, plus the shipping and the tax, y'all added up. 
Then Home Depot, $116.88. You know, then I have bought too much things. So it was $22.65. Accidentally, some things were small. So I had to go back. So I ended up spending $27.58 after getting refunded. You know what I'm saying? And then it was $10.17 because I had to get an extra pipe. So all of that together came up to about 284 of the motherfucking biscuits that I had to cough up for this studio. But I think it's worth it. Plus, Nana's, Nana's beautiful gift that she got me for Christmas. It adds a nice touch. So that, you know, we're going to add a question mark because it was a Christmas gift. So say your own dogs. If you love... If you love the king of shy. Bye.